word Omerta, you know, to the average person nowadays, Drake has a song called Omerta. We see Omerta on different songs. We see Omerta being used in books, you know, people writing about it. It's got many different meanings, but what did Omerta mean to you? It meant open your mouth when you're in a dentist's office. Don't talk. But the thing is a joke when it's a double-edged sword. If me and you have an agreement not to betray one another, not to talk about anything, to hurt one another in any way, shape, or form, that's a two-way thing. It's not a one-way thing. We have disagreement, handshake. We trust each other. We did all kinds of things together. We're cool. But tomorrow you turn on me and do something fucking weird. What's a murder? It's bullshit. You broke it already. So what do you want me to do? Stay with it? So I'll go to prison for the rest of my life. To prove I'm what? Tough or how stupid the fuck I am. When you broke it and you want me to go to prison and you're gonna stay home, or whatever he did, he left the life because whatever, with the Russians and the whole thing, they maybe wanted to kill him at one point. So he's gonna be so tough and so smart, so good to Amurta. He's gonna sit there like a fucking statue until we blow his fucking head off, take his fucking money, his wife and kids could go see where the fuck they gotta go. Well, that's a brilliant move on his part. Oh, what a wonderful man he is. No, he had the balls to fucking say, here, fuck you and Amorto and whoever, the, whatever horse you're riding on and leave. That's a ballsy move. That's not a coward's move. I was with a guy, a black guy, Fat Cat Nichols. The guy that killed his parole officer, got a life sentence, stood up. I was with him in prison, tough. Tough bastard, good guy too. His wife is being mistreated. His mother was a drug dealer too. They're robbing her for money. Somebody's banging his wife. Good support team, right? Everything's going good. Then they get to him, this Pappy Mason and them, his old crew, and tell him there's a guy who cooperated and he's in a building and there's a squad car outside. There's two police officers. One guy goes and get coffee. When he goes and get coffee, we can shoot this guy, he's a young guy. And then we could go in and kill the informant. Fat Cat Nichols says, absolutely not. Don't do it. No. They do it behind his back. The cop that they killed, his brother, is an FBI agent. The guy who they wanted to kill in the house, he has the shots, he jumps out the window, he's gone. They miss him. Fat, Nat, Fat Cat Nichols, that's his crew, they indict him again. This now, on a capital case, killing a police officer, he's facing the death penalty. And Fat Cat turns around and says, fuck this, and cooperates. You guys will say, he's a rat. Is that a rat? I don't know about that. What do you think about Omerta? I'll tell you what Omerta is, and again, I learned it from my dad. When you take that oath, this is what my father's opinion was. Michael, I don't care who betrayed me. I don't care who ratted on me. I don't care who, how bad the life was. I took an oath, and I couldn't live with myself if I betrayed that oath. I don't care what anybody else did. That's it, and I'll live this way until I die. I'm going to die that way with my boots on. He didn't care who wronged him, who did this, who broke him as captain. I made that oath and I'm not gonna betray my oath. That's what Omerta is. You took the blood oath, you agreed to keep your mouth shut, you knew you weren't entering uh, fantasy land. It was a criminal life. We knew what we were getting involved in and we have to shut our mouth. That's the speech he gave me. And the reason he gave me that speech because after I had walked away, we didn't speak for 10 years. Who was mad at me? Who was gonna kill me? My dad went along with the contract. I heard everything from the government. He finally said for me, when he realized I wasn't hurting anybody, because everybody was saying I was putting everybody in jail. And I go see him, we were in the kitchen of our house. Why did you do what you did? I said, let me ask you a question, Dad. I said, you're on your third parole violation. We're sitting in this house. I says, you have a daughter that died of an overdose of drugs. You have a son that's a junkie, a lot of trouble there. You got my mother's a basket case and my other daughter's dying. That's your legacy. I said, I don't expect you to take revenge on anybody, but after your third parole violation, why didn't you say I'm done?
pick up your family, move the hell out of town so you don't get violated again, and, and worry about the family. You don't have to be a rat at that point. What are you betraying? You're not calling on anyone. You're not doing anything. No, I'm a rat if I do that. I don't understand that mentality. I didn't, I didn't get it. So for me, what it meant, it meant what my dad said. No matter what, this is the oath we took and we can't violate the oath. I violated my oath. I talk about the life. I left the life. So I betrayed my oath. And you talked with agents. I talked with agents. That's cooperation, Michael. Yeah. We can't wait, wait, wait listen, yeah, you're, it, you're bringing this up now. No, 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 no. I'm let, not gonna let, accept that. We, it, you don't have to accept it, but the reality of it is, here's, here's my thinking. Nobody has to agree with me, and everybody can it call me whatever Whatever your thinking is, the reality is that you sat with agents. That's breaking or mortal. I said I broke it. I betrayed my oath. Yeah, and you talked about your crimes and everything else. That's talked cooperating and that's a wreck. Just like everybody else I, I, who cooperated. You, you gotta it doesn't have to mean that you took the stand. Sammy, let Once me, you break that oath, let, you broke it. But I already agreed to that. Yeah, I well, betrayed my oath. Your father had a mentality, and he's not the only one. Okay, but let, there's let, hundreds let me, of guys who did that. Let, let me finish. My thing was, I'll talk to the government, but I'm not going to put anybody in prison. I'm not going to go to that extent. Call. Huh? It's not your call. It was my call because it's not your call. Sammy, you I could have taken a stand three or four times. Listen, I could have taken a stand. Listen, no, 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 no. Maybe this you is could important. Have. Let's wait, wait. John Riggy. No, 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 John Riggy. I'll tell you why I went back on parole. Why they violated me. They brought me in to testify against John Riggy. My friend brought me into Newark while I was on parole, picked me up, two agents brought me in, said, we're putting you on the stand because he and I were partners in a business in, in New York. And I refused. I sent back, within 10 days I was violated. Because he was my friend, I, I, I couldn't I, I, do I it. I don't know about that. There's well, a lot no, of people no, I'm I'm telling, I refused to. Okay, but, but, but my that point mean, is... That doesn't mean I didn't cooperate. My, my let me point, make the point. No, 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 let, let me, me, let me, point, let me make did. a point, then you can have the floor. Yeah, go ahead. My point is, when I got out of the life, it wasn't because I was mad at anybody. Did people do me wrong? Yes, they did, but I understood that's part of the life. This, this life is a treacherous life, no matter how you look at it. I seen backstabbing, I seen guys got killed for the wrong reason, I seen what happened with my father. Uh, you wanna know something? When the government came after me, they had real reason, Patrick. I can't say I was framed. The Giuliani case, it was questionable. I beat the case, okay, I get it. You know, they're on one side, I'm on the other. The gasoline case, I was guilty. I was guilty. When I took the plea on the gasoline case, there was no cooperation involved. I got a 10-year prison sentence, $15 million restitution, no cooperation, didn't talk to anybody, nothing. I did that because I beat them five times. I had leverage over the government. I made my deal because I was already planning to walk away right. from them. No, 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 let me finish. No, yeah. this is important. It ain't they were, I was in custody. They're taking me down to Florida where I got indicted again on the whole gasoline case. We agreed that the case was going to go concurrent with my federal sentence, but you got to plead first in the state because the feds won't go concurrent with the state, but the state will go concurrent with the government. So I pleaded to the state. They gave me nine years. And on the way back, I'm on the plane with 10 agents who took me down there. And I'm teasing them. They're asking me, all right, Michael, now that it's over, when we, when we were watching you here, was this what really happened? They're asking me all of these things. And they said to me, I said to them, you know why I took the plea? I said, I was tired of beating you. I beat you five times. I said, let me give you one. You got one. You know, one agent looked at me. I'll never forget. I see his eyes right now. And he said to me, Michael, not this time. You became a superstar. They were lining up to testify against you. You were going down. I never forgot that. And you know what? He was right. He was right. I don't follow what all of that meant. It's a good speech. Well, no, it's, good speech. It, it's not. A, it's it's, it's thing, explaining. When you go in, you, you said your speech. It wasn't a speech. Well, whatever it is. It wasn't a speech. You it was went in explaining and you what happened. talked with the agents about your crimes when the guy cooperated against you, and you cooperated against some Jewish guy. What Jewish guy? You told me you said Nobody that him out. I don't know who the fuck he is. Sammy, you I got subpoenaed to testify in that case, and I went in and I testified. And the guy didn't, you didn't, the guy didn't you do didn't, one day's time. Not one day. He didn't do an hour in jail. We're talking about maybe this Nobby Walters, whoever it was. Well, and I'll get the facts works. if we have to go to that route. You could you get the facts. I will. It's I public will. record. No, I got a lot of agents I know, too. It's public record. We can get it. Oh, fuck the public record. I can get the unpublic record. But what happens is when you talk and you cooperate with the 
the government. Now, they don't use you. You're not going to take the stand. You talked about your crimes. You talked about other things. And you got the plea or whatever they do. They gave you this plea. It's a problem. No, you're it's wrong. A... You're wrong. I did not. There was no cooperation attached to my plea agreement in 1985. You can investigate high, low, and everywhere in between. You can look up documents. You can go to the Freedom of Information Act. Do whatever you want. You can't get I did those not documents. Well, Freedom okay. of Information. Well, you got FBI Everybody connections. You got FBI connections. You could. There was yeah, no. I'll, I'll get it. But, there was but, no. 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 Let me finish. You can't you say told, that and then not let me finish. Say what? No. No. You. You let. There was no cooperation. Ten minutes. No, but there was. You just made an allegation. That's not true. There was no cooperation. I'll make it true. There was no cooperation attached to my plea agreement Maybe it's at not all. cooperation. I don't know what you wrote. You met with the agents and you talked with the agents. I met you with just the agents five years later. No, I you just said you were playing with agents and you were joking. I beat you once. They don't go for that bullshit. What are, you what are you talking about? You just said you were talking with agents. I beat you, so now I'm going to give you Sammy, one. Sammy, I, I, I was talking about my case. I took a plea. Yeah. Yeah. I was talking about my case. They were saying, Michael, when we were following you here, was this what really happened? Right. But I what I understand is that when you talked with the agents, you talked about your crimes, you talked about other things. Now, what happens is they didn't use you. They, they didn't, didn't use they you. They couldn't use me. Uh, Sammy, uh, Sammy. I've, been, I've been listening to you, and I don't want to say it, but I think you want to say it, but you haven't said it yet. Is there anything you want to say to Michael in regards to cooperating? What can I say? He read it. He cooperated. He cooperated with the fucking government. He wants to get on his fucking high horse. I didn't send somebody to prison. He met with the fucking government and read it. You're a fucking rat. You want to talk you. about respect? respect? You want to talk like that? Point your fucking finger at me. Oh, well, what are you going to do? What am I going to do? I'll break your fucking Sam, face. That's what the fuck Sam, I'll do. Let me tell you something. This was years ago. You'd be fucking dead. Really? Yeah. Well, it's My fucking category.